Welcome to the Canine Karting Dog Cart Assembly video. This is what you will need. 28 nuts, 14 regular bolts, 6 long bolts, 2 thick bolts, 2 U-clips, 1 spring, 2 U-bolts, and 3 wrenches. These are all the parts that are included in your order. The mainframe, the axle with the pre-attached bolts and washers, the two main wheels, the brake bar with the pre-attached bolts and washers, the brake pedal assembly, the front wheel, the main front support bar, the two support bars in the front, the two shaft bars, two seat supports, and the main seat base and seat back cushion. Now grab your axle and your mainframe and two U-bolts and four nuts. Flip your mainframe upside down and place the axle on the support bar as shown. Place your U-bolts in the pre-drilled holes on the mainframe. Use the nuts to fasten down the U-bolts to the frame. Be sure to place them nice and tight using the pre-included wrenches. Now grab your two main back wheels. Remember to remove the included nut and washer from the axle. Place the wheel on the axle as shown. Remember to replace the nut and washer back on the axle in the order they were included. Do this for both sides and be careful to only hand tighten the bolts as you could damage the wheel. Now grab your brake bar with the pre-attached bolts, nuts, and washers. Each bolt should come with two washers and one nut already attached. Remove these and place the brake bar on the frame as shown, using the pre-drilled holes on the frame. Be sure to line up this peg with this cutout on the frame. Fasten down the brake bar to the frame using the two washers and the nut you removed earlier. Remember that each bolt should come with two washers and one nut. Now grab your brake assembly, two bolts, two nuts, and your spring. Place the support bar with the peg towards the back of the frame and attach to the frame using the two bolts and two nuts. Remove the bolt and the washer from the pivot bar. Place the brake pedal into the slot on the main frame and attach to the pivot bar. Now reattach the included bolt and washer. Find the support bar with the three pre-drilled holes. Place the three holes towards the front of the cart under the pivot bar. You can adjust the length of the support bar using the three holes and the pre-included bolt and nut. Now attach your support bar to the peg on the brake bar using the included bolt and nut. Fasten this bolt down pretty tight, but be sure to leave a little wiggle room so the brake will still be able to move. Now grab your spring. Place one end in the pre-drilled hole on the frame and one end in the other hole on the peg on the brake bar. Now grab your front wheel, four bolts, and four nuts. Place the square plate of the front wheel on the square plate of the main frame. Attach using the four bolts and four nuts. Be sure to fasten these down real tight so the wheel doesn't come loose. Now grab your main front bar, two support bars, four regular bolts, two long bolts, and six nuts. Place the main support bar in the pegs on the frame and place two long bolts through the pre-drilled holes on the pegs. Fasten them down using two nuts, one for each side. Now grab your 
support bar. Place the shorter flat end on the peg on the frame and fasten it down using a bolt and a nut. Be sure to get all these nuts really tight using the pre-included wrenches. You can use the three pre-cut holes on the main support bar to adjust the length of the supports, depending on the height of your dog. Once you've got your two support bars attached and adjusted to the height you want, your assembly should look like this. Now grab your two shaft bars and two thick bolts. Place the shaft bars in the ends of the main front support as shown. Remember that these shaft bars can slide and so can adjust for different sizes of dogs. Once you've got them to the length you want, place the two thick bolts in the pre-drilled holes in the bottom of the bars until it doesn't slide anymore. Now grab your main seat base, seat back cushion, two U-clips, two seat supports, four long bolts, and four nuts. Now grab your two seat supports. Place the single peg on the support upwards and the four pegs towards the bottom. Notice that there's a lip on the underside of the support. and Place this towards the wheel on the frame. Also be sure to leave the pre-drilled hole on the back of the support. It's important to note that these supports are adjustable on the frame for balance. You can slide the supports forwards or backwards depending on where you want the seat to be. Now use your four long bolts to fasten the supports to the frame using the pre-drilled holes and the included wrenches. It's important to get these bolts really tight, as if you don't, the supports can slide around while you are riding, which will affect the balance of the cart and can be dangerous for the dog and the rider. Now we're going to attach the main seat base. You will notice on the bottom of the base there are two pegs that line up with the peg on top of the support. Make sure the peg on top of the support goes between the two pegs on the base. Line up the holes on the peg on the bottom of the base with the peg on top of the support and fasten it down using a nut and a bolt, one for each side. It's important to get these really tight so the seat doesn't come loose while you are riding. Now place a U-clip on top of the spring on the support base. Line up the hole with the hole in the support. Place a bolt through this and fasten it down using a nut. This will keep the seat in place if you hit any bumps while you are riding. Now grab your seat back cushion and remove the pre-attached bolts. Line up the holes on the back of the cushion with the holes on the seat base. Using the bolts you removed from the seat back cushion earlier. With the cushion in place, your dog cart should now be complete and you can enjoy a nice smooth ride no matter how rough the road may get.